Good morning guys. I'm on my way to the gym for the first time since lockdown began and uh, I just thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, planes going by isn't great. Anyway, I thought I might as well use the opportunity while I'm still in South Africa to at least get into better shape because lockdown trained at home but you know not doing a lot of cardio not using a lot of the equipment I'm used to using. particularly great because uh, a lot of the equipment you can't really use um, but it is empty which is a good thing and uh, I guess I'll just have to figure out what I can do while I'm here and make the most of it So, as some of you know, I am selling up and I'm going to be going to London to f try and land a new job and uh, yeah, so I've got to start putting things away um, while I love my Lego displays, I don't need them to be displayed in order to sell the minifigures. So, I'm actually going to pack them up into boxes now, ready to either ship to whoever decides to buy my awesome collection. Um, otherwise, I might end up having to take them to the UK and then selling them there. I'm not really in a space where I want to sell them individually in South Africa because I just don't know how long that's going to take. I would rather sell the entire collection. So for now, let's get started with packing away.
Series 1 Mega Clown. problem these bricks don't stick very well I haven't found the perfect glue so I just hot glue these and uh, yeah they do fall off quite easily time favorites BA Baracus Mr. T from the A team Sheldon from Big Bang Theory Whoops, another 400 minifigures. Okay, so I'm having some issues with autofocus, but I try to put a design lesson in most of my videos, and that's definitely what I want to try and do going forward is always pass on some form of wisdom. So, this will be a quick one, but there's two things that I've even realized. Um, recently as a designer is that one you it's easy it's super easy to get uh, confused when you're working and most especially when you're working with friends where you've had a less formal uh, working relationship and um, you take on a project trying to help them them trying to pass you some business whatever the arrangement is but yeah, the thing is, is to not get confused and get made, let things get awkward, but rather communicate effectively and maybe just get together and sit down and explain what you need as a designer in order to get through a project and explain the relevance to your friends or your clients or the people that you're working with of exactly why you need what you need in order to move forward. A very common thing that people don't seem to understand is that design is not guessing. It's not something that, you know, somebody says, well, I need this and you can just do it. You actually need stuff from them and you're unable to do something. Another common thing is that people just expect that they've seen something look a certain way and therefore the expectation is that you're going to just do the same thing but what they don't realize is that that thing that they're looking at that they're referencing that they want you to do for them requires their input to make it specific to their needs otherwise buy a template why get a designer to even help you if you specifically want a certain thing and you don't want to have to do anything but change the copy now as a client, 
you know, you can certainly go and reference somebody else's work or project that you like or whatever and change the copy as you need to for your business. But you need to give that to your designer. And as a designer, you should be requesting that. And you should try and find a way to explain this to um, your friends, your clients and everybody so that there's no confusion and it's really easy to kind of work together and because I feel especially with friendships it's the easiest place to kind of get like frustrated and people start talking bad about you and I, you know I've had this in my career and the truth is it could have been avoided if I'd actually just sat down and had a face to face with them and said hey listen you know you're kind of wanting this but I need that in order to proceed I don't just stick an image in a page up I take a specific image based on your requirement and that's what I put in a layout. Or uh, another thing that I've been coming across is just not thoroughly investigating what clients actually want. And so it's quite often they just come at you and go, I need a logo. And you just go, okay, great. And what's your business? And you start mocking some stuff up. What you should do, and in order to grow your business and uh, do the best thing for your client is to try and really understand the problem they're trying to solve because quite often a logo is not actually what they need what they need is a brand positioning or what they need is you know something to make their business look more official or something and they might not necessarily be a logo mark they might actually be you know more of the documentation required or it might be a website or it might be whatever but it's trying to understand the problem that they're trying to solve not necessarily the requirements because people don't necessarily know how to you know what is required or, or how to ask for what they need so yeah those quick tips right so this week I've managed to sell a few more items. I've got my passport overseas and now I'm really just kind of sorting out my home uh, and killing time until I get my passport back in a few weeks and then I can be off to London. I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video and appreciate the updates. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and stay cool.